Okay, I'm sitting out in front of Wood Run Place. It's a beautiful morning. We just got about seven inches of fresh snow. So since you guys know where the lobby is, which is where my unit is located, um, to get to Wood Run Place number 32, the entrance is right there behind that stone pillar. So very close to the lobby. And then of course, if I pan over here, um, you know, right over there is the ski room. So it has a great centralized location to get to the ski room, obviously the lobby, and you also know where the pool is. You know, so it's a short walk to the pool. And as you'll see, one nice thing also about this unit is that it is all on one floor. So we will go ahead and start to walk towards there. And then, so you go through that door and it's the first door uh, as you get in there. So we'll, we'll head that direction. So I just came in through that door, and this is the front door to the unit. And I will walk in here just to kind of give you a feel of the entry. And of course I will show all the blinds as you requested, but um, it has a really, you know, spacious feel, certainly bigger than anything that we've seen so far. So uh, let me uh, adjust the lights and turn down the uh, blinds. and. We'll uh, take some uh, video from all the different angles and then I'll walk you through. Okay, so I'm just going to pan around here. I've shut all the windows, but you can see that pretty much faces east. You have the kitchen. It kind of looks out into the dining room and the living room. And as we pan around, you know, right to the right of the fireplace there is where you go into the master bedroom. And then you have this little wet bar here, which is kind of interesting. And then there's a big coat closet. So I keep panning here. Let me just get situated. <laughs> so as we're panning around here. So you have the wet bar, coat closet. They haven't quite cleaned this unit. And they got a little bench right when you come in. Um, you can sit down and take your boots off if you're not using the ski room. There's a front door and you got a um, cubby hole there. So and then just to the right of that door is the entrance into the bathroom and then you got um, another door right here to my right so I'm just going to take a bunch from a different angle so you can kind of get a feel for the floor plan so just moving kind of out into the living room that's the door that goes out to the balcony right here you know you have your kitchen you can see the wood ceilings you know the, you said the lighting is a little bit older but it's got nice stainless steel appliances granite countertops so that closet, I was standing right next to that door right there. That's the washer and dryer. So it does have a washer and dryer. And then that's the entrance into the guest bedroom. But that's also the shared bathroom right there. Um, and then, of course, there's the entry to the front door. And to the left is my the wet bar. So that is um, kind of the setup there. Okay, now I'm kind of in the far corner of the living room. So that's the entrance to the master bedroom, right there. And as I pan around this direction, you can see the entry again, the living room, there's the kitchen. And then of course off the kitchen they have the dining room. And then that's the entrance to the, to the exterior. So, like I said, it's very spacious. You got this uh, the ceiling right here, you know, it's kind of, it's a little bit higher here in the living room, which is kind of a nice little feature. But I would say that's that's a good 10 feet. So um, let me go over there at the dining room just to give you a perspective from there. Okay, now I'm over near the door that goes to the exterior to the deck. You know, kitchen's on the right. You can see the entry, the wet bar, and then you can see the entry into the master bedroom. You got your dining room, living room, and then these. Um, those windows right there, that's a sliding glass door that goes out to the deck that way. And then, of course, I'm standing right next to the one that goes out onto the kitchen. So it actually has two really big decks, and I'll go out and take a video of that as well. But so that kind of covers all the angles of the main area. And it's just, like I said, it's a lot bigger than anything we've seen. Um, plenty of space to spread out, so to speak. Okay, I'm just standing in the entryway to the master bedroom, which we just shot. Bathroom's on the right, and it's a big bathroom. I'll get a better shot of that. Again, you got the wood ceilings. You got a closet right there, 
but to the right of that, and you'll see it in a different angle, is a massive storage closet, which you've seen in the uh, photos. Um, let see if I can move this a little bit here. And then, so this is the master bedroom. It's a king size bed. You know, window, and you got a, a entry out to the uh, deck there from your master bedroom as well. So really nice size, um, and and a huge storage closet. Okay, just another perspective. The windows and the entry to the deck is on my right. So the queen's queen king size bed. There's your entry in, and that's your master bathroom over there. And then where that chair is, that's the um, entry into the storage closet. And it's about the same size as the master bathroom. So you can fit a ton of stuff in there. So there's the master bedroom. Okay, so here's the master bath. You know, you got a uh, shower to the left here. It's a steam shower. Pretty good size. But like I said, the, you know, I mean, it needs remodeling. I mean, it hasn't been remodeled yet, so you got your standard sink, you know, finishes, but definitely good space. And then here to the left, you have your, uh, you know, which has a door on it. And you got um, a jacuzzi tub. No, it does not have a shower, so it's just a jacuzzi tub. But, you know, you're probably going to have to upgrade these. And, of course, you walk back out into the master uh, bedroom. Okay, now we're in the guest bedroom, which is just to the right of the, the kitchen. And um, certainly tall enough to put um, two bunk beds if, in here. I mean, there's plenty of room. I mean, the ceiling height in here, like I said, is probably 10 feet. And then this has its own entry out to the um, deck that's off the kitchen there. So, like I said, this one has two decks and then the bathroom is here on the left hand side that way and we'll kind of walk into there and go from there all right so we're going to walk into the bathroom now so this bedroom actually does have its own sink outside the bathroom so if someone just wanted to brush their teeth or if you're using you know you have someone sleeping out in the living room or whatever there's two entrances to it um, you got a nice, pretty big closet here. And of course the bathroom. Again, it's it's a little bit dated. Got your tub, your toilet, and your sink, another sink. And then just walking out this direction. You know, entries there to the right. You got your ski and cubby hole right there. Throw your helmets and stuff. And then your uh, coat closet, back into the living room, and so now we've done the full, the full loop. And uh, I'll go out on the deck and take some shots from there. Okay, so this is the door right next to the kitchen. I've kind of turned down the aperture, but so you walk out on it's a pretty big deck, and of course that's the the um, guest bedroom, so they have access to this. You know, and this is your view from the deck. It's a little cloudy today. You know, that's where you drive in and come up. And over there is the deck to the master. So that's actually off the master suite right there, and we'll go over there. But, you know, I mean, you're going to have some cars drive by here, but it's not a very high traffic area. And you do have some nice views. around and so we'll head on over to the master deck as well just so you can kind of get that you can see the lift out there I can zoom in hopefully it doesn't get too blurry you can see the lift oops getting blurry there you go so that's Fanny Hill right there and the ski room is literally ooh, right there <laughs> you see the railing so when you walk out of the door that's about how far you got to go to to get to skiing Okay, so I'm in the master bedroom, and of course you walk out, and they have their own private deck here. And, uh, so this is also, that's the sliding glass door off the living room. That's why there's a, a grill out here. 
So it shares it with the living room. Um, so you have two decks, you know, one off that. So you have two, you can sit out here as well, and that's right off the living room. And it's got pretty good views as well. It's covered, so you can actually sit out here during a rainstorm if you wanted to. So. There you have that uh, deck. And I'll, I'll shoot some from the inside, which will be dark, but you will be able to see the views out the uh, windows of the living room. But you kind of know what it's going to be out of your master. Okay, so I thought it would be important. You know, you can kind of see the the darkness of the inside, but I thought it would be good to get the you know your views from the windows. So this is from your dining room. You know, there's the door that goes out to that left deck. And then, uh, so that's your view from your dining room table, so you can see Wildcat Ridge. And then from your living room, again, it's kind of cloudy out there, so I don't know how well it's coming through, but, um, you know, here's the sliding glass door out to the patio we were just on. And uh, I'll go sit in a chair. Well, I'm not exactly sitting in a chair, but this is what it would look like. <laughs> Um, just to get the exterior, so because um, the interior light kind of messes with it. But like you saw, great views from the deck. Sit out there in the summer, and uh, there you have it. So I thought it might be helpful just to take some quick close-ups. I mean, you can see it's a fairly basic sink. You can see the color of the granite. Um, you know, you got these mirrors here. Hey guys. So that's the the wet bar. And I'll go into the kitchen just so you can get an idea. Kitchen, you know, so it has nice stainless steel appliances. Um, the granite color is the same. You know, cabinetry is pretty basic, but I mean, you may only need to reface it. I mean, it's an oak, so um, yeah. You got the whirlpool stainless steel electric stove top I spin around here and got the uh, Whirlpool stainless steel dishwasher you know but the sink is pretty basic when you're in the kitchen you know this is your your view you see the master there so there's some close-ups you guys saw the bathrooms too so hopefully that helps all right so you asked me to walk to the ski room I'm leaving the unit. I'm walking out the door. Yeah, the... Whoops. So if I were to go up those stairs, it, I'd go to the lockers, or if I was just going to go ski, I would literally just walk down this direction. Yeah, that's not far at all. Here's the railing, and off I go. And of course, there's your ski room. And that's probably where I would, I wouldn't even go up the stairs and down the stairs, because I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but you know, the lockers and stuff are right in there. So that's the, the distance to the ski room. It's probably the same to the lobby and same. So just a quick exterior of the back side. That's the deck off the uh, guest bedroom. You know, there's the windows that are in the dining room, living room. You can see the door. And as I walk around this way, that's the main deck. You can see the grill, I think, <laughs> once I get past, you know, right up there. So that's the, the living room and then the master bedroom. So it's this whole area right here. So that concludes the video tour.